Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm Greg. Welcome back to my machine shop. We're making good progress on our Wallaby 30cc engine and it's time to start assembling it. And to do this, I need to make some gaskets. The gaskets for the Wallaby are simple enough to simply take a one-to-one -one drawing of the part, laying it over our gasket material and cutting it out with an X-Acto knife, and then punching or drilling the holes. What I'll do is I'll lay it onto the part, take an X-Acto knife and just trace the outside of the hole and then pull the little piece of material out of there. That works fine. But what I'm gonna do today is show you how I use my CNC machine to cut gaskets. I'll take you through the setup of the CNC machine itself, the little drag knife that I use, and I'll take an example of Fusion 360, of how I create the tool paths. All right, well, let's just jump to it. finish the short block assembly, I need the sump to crankcase gaskets. This one here and here, of course. I need, they're identical, and I need two of those, one for each side. Um, and I also need the rear camshaft bearing holder to crankcase gasket in here. Um, don't need the head gasket yet. Need to finish the head assembly first. So I think those two gaskets, or three gaskets, if you count this one as two, will be enough for me to complete this short block assembly. So let's let's kind of develop our gasket making techniques on those two. So the first gasket we're going to focus on here is the rear camshaft bearing holder. Um, as we mentioned before, the simplest way to do this probably would be just to take this one-to-one -one template cut this out, lay it on top of our gasket material. This here is um, 10 thousandths PTFE sheet or Teflon. Tape it on there, take my X-Acto knife and just trace this and cut it out and maybe lay this on top of the um, engine, cut these holes out. Um, but we're gonna cut this out, not with an X-Acto knife, but with a drag knife in our CNC machine. So this is a tool holder for my CNC machine. And in the collet, I've placed a drag knife that I purchased off Amazon for, I don't know, 15 bucks. The only modification was this collar here that allows me to lock it into the collet without disturbing the tightening apparatus up here. And these little blades fit into the end. The magnet holds it into place. Can see that you adjust it so it just barely sticks out and then this is a piece of corian that i mount into the cnc machine and then i use a piece of cardboard as my backing material i'll start by loading a piece of wood into my cnc vise and then use a router bit to machine the top so it's completely flat with respect to my CNC machine's Z-axis. Then I'll screw down my slab of Corian, ensuring that the heads of the screws are below the top surface, and then top it off with a thin piece of cardboard. We already have the rear camshaft bearing holder in Fusion 360, we used our CNC machine to machine this outline and these two holes. I found the simplest way to make gaskets is to use this existing model. I used to create DXF files, export the DXF files, and then use a trace operation in Fusion 360 to create the tool paths. But I found there was a lot of extra steps. What I'm going to try here is I'm going to just use this existing model not create anything else and use, create a new setup and use the contour operation. The thing I like about the contour operation is it allows you to cut tabs when you cut the contour. And what that'll do is it'll leave a little piece of material here so this internal piece remains attached and doesn't get tangled up in the cutting operation. Let's export this G-code, run it on the CNC machine, and see what our gasket looks like. 
Cutting a gasket is not near as dramatic as machining a piece of aluminum. But if we zoom in here, we can see the resulting gasket. I don't think it's perfect. I think the body of the knife was dragging a little bit. I made this one and then I raised it a little bit and it looks like I raised it too much, maybe. Let me cut these out, get back to you. While I'm cutting this gasket out, I thought I'd let you know that the Fusion 360 files used here in these examples, I'll put up and make available on my Patreon page. The link is below. I think that'll work. That's the gaskets for the crankcase to sump. I think I need to work on my technique a little bit. It's very sensitive to properly zeroing the z-axis on the CNC machine. One gasket I got a little low and the other I got a little high and I didn't cut all the way through the holes. But all in all I'm real happy with that technique. All right well I'm Greg thanks for visiting me in my machine shop. Until next time take care.